Tennessee waterways being invaded by something called the Alabama bass. Yeah, it's a species of fish nearly identical to a smallmouth bass that fill our state's lakes and rivers. They're so similar, in fact, they're nearly impossible to tell apart by looking. They have to be differentiated by genetic analysis. Take a look at that right there. But the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency says the fish pose a serious threat to the native species. Alabama bass can take over native fish populations by breeding with them and creating what TWRA fishery biologist John Hammonds calls a hybrid or mutt fish. Hybridization could wreak havoc on the smallmouth bass population. TWRA has already detected Alabama bass genetics in several Tennessee lakes and Hammonds is concerned for waters in our region. Um, and the fear of like where you live up there is, you know, South Holston is just about all smallmouth. Uh, when, when you're when you're going bass fishing, if you're using any type of lure that's successful, targeting them or not, you're going to probably catch a smallmouth even if you're trying to fish for largemouth, you know, in general. Now, there's some specialist anglers that obviously can do a lot different than that, but, but that's the major fish in there. So the best way we're told to prevent the species from taking over is not to relocate fish. Apparently people do that. Hammonds encourages people to try to catch the Alabama bass and get them out of our waterways. He says they're safe to eat. They're good to eat, fun to catch as well.